Abracadabra is a production of the West Virginia School of Osteopathic Medicine and its Healthy Children's Initiative in association with Concord University. At Concord, it starts with you. Additional funding for this program is provided by the Brick Street Foundation, Charleston Area Medical Center, the Davis Eye Center, the Gene G. Hamilton and Lawson W. Hamilton Jr. Family Foundation, and by Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield, West Virginia. Everybody and welcome to Hyper Cadaver. Welcome, welcome. Uh, what do you have here, Joey? Well, you know, we're talking about fire safety on today's show. Yes. So I built my own fire extinguisher. Your own fire extinguisher? Yeah. Well, that's amazing. Yeah, so when something goes on fire, it'll squirt water on it. Well, that's amazing. There's only one trouble. What's that? It doesn't work. Uh, oh, Joey. <laughs> Can you help me fix it? Well, let me see. Uh, Oh, you know, I think I can. Could I have one of the wrenches? Uh, sure. Uh, here you go. All right, good. Uh, Mike? Uh, yes, Joey. Uh, could I help? Oh, you want to help? Yeah. Hmm. All right, I'll tell you what. You see this button here, this one here? Yes. Every time I say, all right, I want you to push that button. Uh, okay, every time. Every time I say, all right. Okay. Uh, every time? Every time. Okay. Every, every time. Okay. And like, uh, yes, Joey, how's it coming? Oh, it's coming all right. <laughs> what did you do that for? Well, you said all right. I, oh, okay, it's all right. Oh, oh, well, you said, I, I know, I know. All right. Oh, oh. <laughs> Say, Mike. Yes, Joey. Uh, you see this one here, this button? Yeah. Do you think it uh, should be all the other buttons the same color? Uh, 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 the other buttons the color of that? Yeah. Um, I don't think so. I think they should stay the way they are. Uh, what do you mean? Well, I mean, I think they should be all white. I said all white. Uh, not all right. Oh, Joey. <laughs> well, he said every time. <laughs> Let's play the My Plate game. <laughs> Everyone needs a balanced food plate containing portions of protein, grains, uh, fruits, vegetables, and dairy. Uh, so far, my plate contains a fruit, uh, it's mandarin oranges, a vegetable, it's potatoes, lamb chops, which is a protein, and a dairy, which is frozen yogurt. So, which of these other foods do I need to add to my plate? Walnuts, grapes, or rice? The correct answer is rice. What's missing from my plate? is great. So, eat a balanced food plate every day and you'll always be a winner! Oh, hi, clock. No, it's not raining outside. It's Joey's latest invention. An umbrella. <laughs> Afraid it's too late for that clock. Oh, hi, kids. Hi, Mike. What happened to you? Have you seen Joey? 
Yeah, he's in his room working on his new fire extinguisher. So that's why you're wet. I'm afraid so. Speaking of fire extinguishers, we are learning about fire safety in school this week. That's right. You know, learning about fire safety is very important. We're on our way to the fire station. That's why we're looking for Joey. What's that? Oh, I'm glad you asked. This is a new magic trick. And speaking of fire safety, would you like to see this trick? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. This is two fire stations. Then they're connected between. And this is Fireman Dave. <laughs> Fireman Dave has a whole bunch of cuddly little puppies, the Dalmatians. And one of those puppies got away from Fireman Dave and wound up going inside the fire station. So Fireman Dave had to run in to see if he could get him. So I'm gonna put Fireman Dave into his fire station. Okay. But this was a magical puppy. And it was amazing as Fireman Dave started to look for him, he disappeared. Uh, but you you slid him, him over. over. He's over oh, there. Oh, you think that he's on this side over here? Yeah. Let no, me you see. Slid him. Okay, you let slid me see. Him. You no, no, no. See, he's not over, over there. there. Right you slid him because you slid him oh, over here. You think he's over on this side no, again? No, let me see. You see, no, no, no. He's not over here. He's there now. He's really disappeared. Oh, there he is. Right there. I don't see anything. No, he's I, right there. Yeah, he's right there. there. Uh, are you sure? He's, he's just yeah. not around. No, he's there again. Uh, wait, wait a moment. You think that the puppy is still in the fire station? Yeah, yes. of course we do. Hmm. Well, maybe we can help Fireman Dave get the puppy. Can you help me by saying the magic words? Ready? Abracadabra. Now take a look. See, the puppy's gone from this <gasps> side. And the puppy is now gone from that side, okay? Do you know where he is? He's in my back pocket here with Fireman Dave. How about that with that little puppy? <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hi, Hi Daisy. Daisy. I see you're ready to go to the firehouse, too. I'm excited. I can't wait to see everything. <laughs> Hi, Salty, the great firefighter. I'm coming to. Great firefighter? Of course. I put out fires on board me ship all the time. You know that it's made of wood. Why, it would burn up faster than I could say, um. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal, etc., etc. The Gettysburg Address? That's a long speech. Well, it's a big ship, Mike. You know, it'll take a while to burn. <laughs> all right, I'll tell you what. Why don't we all get Joey, and then I'll come too. Is everybody ready? Yeah! Let's go! <laughs> okay. Hi, girls and boys. For plants and vegetables to grow, they need water. So in today's experiment, I'm going to show you how water goes up the stem of a plant and goes into the flowers and the leaves of the plant. For this experiment, you need some celery. And it's also nice to get some flowers from outside, these nice white flowers, some glasses with water, and some food coloring. So I started the experiment, and I have the blue food coloring into this glass and the green in this one. So now I'll add the red food coloring into this third glass of water, just like that. And then what you need to do is take a stalk of celery and stick it in the glass like this. And I'll do it for this one, like that, and stir it around. And then finally this one. And then I'm also gonna take one of the white flowers and put one in each one of these like this. So the experiment's going, but it actually takes several days for this experiment to work. So I did one of these experiments a few days ago, and here are the results. Look what happens with the flower and the celery in the blue water. The flower and celery have turned blue. Now look what happens to the red one. The red one, again, the flower and the celery turn red. 
And finally, the green, that white flower turns green and the leaves of the celery are more green. So what's going on? Well, inside the stem of the celery and, and the flower are these tube-like structures called xylem. And xylem allows the water to go from the glass up through the stem and into the flowers and into the leaves of the celery. And that's how the blue water turns the flower blue and the red water turns the leaves of the celery red. Boys and girls, this is a great experiment to do at home. And you can try all different kinds of plants and flowers with this experiment. If you want to learn more about science, just go to our Abracadabra website. And remember, it looks like magic, but it's science. Did you know that a crocodile cannot stick out its tongue? Did you know your tongue is the fastest healing part of your body? When we got to the fire station, we were greeted by Fireman Randy and Fireman Matt. They showed us all around the fire station, and then I had time to talk to Fireman Randy about fire safety. This is an amazing fire station, Fireman Randy. Thank you for allowing us to come and visit. Thank you for joining us today. We really appreciate it. You know, we're talking about fire safety today, and so I had some questions about fire safety. Sure. I know that you can get burnt by a fire, and that's pretty bad. But other than being burnt, what's the most dangerous part of a fire? Is actually the smoke. The smoke. And that's why it's important to have smoke detectors in our homes. Correct. How often do you test a smoke detector? You want to test it monthly. Okay, and then how often do you change the batteries? You change the batteries twice a year. One thing that you can use is when you spring forward or fall back when you change your clocks. Okay. Or you can pick two days that are at least six months apart that you'll remember to change the smoke alarm batteries. That's important so that you remember that, right? Correct. <laughs> That's good. Um, okay, so now there's a fire and the smoke alarm goes off. What do I do next? You want to go to the floor. That's where your good air is. Okay, and now I'm gonna to head to the door. What do I have to check there? You wanna check for heat for the door. Uh, you wanna use the back of your hand, slide it across to see if you feel that the door is hot. Okay, and if it is hot? Do not open your door. Okay, and what do I have to do then? You wanna use items to plug up the crack that's underneath your door. You can use such things as your bedding. Uh, once you've got it sealed off, you wanna to crawl to the window uh, and stay at your window. One of the things that firemen do is once we get out of the truck, we'll walk around the house or the building to see if we can see anybody inside the windows. If we do, that's where we go to first to start getting people out. And so that becomes important. Correct. Yeah. So now if I'm on the second story, how do I get out the window? There's several different ways that you can get out. Uh, one of the things that you can use is a, an escape ladder. Uh, what it's meant is it's mounted to your window, you push your screen out, push the ladder out, and it goes down to the ground. That's great, and if I don't have a ladder? You can go to your local home improvement store and check that their fire safety aisle, and you should be able to find that item there. Okay, and if, if I'm in the house though and there is no ladder, what do I have to do? One of the things that you can do is you can crawl out your window, hang from your window until you stop, then drop to the ground. What you're doing is you're lowering the distance between you and the ground. That's great, that's important to know too. What happens if fire does get on me? Well, Mike, that's when you wanna stop, drop, and roll. Got to be so careful when you're near a flame. Never play with fire, no, it's not a game. Careful around the stove and the toaster too. But if you get burned, I'll tell you what to do. You gotta stop, drop, and roll. You gotta stop, drop, and roll. If you ever get burned, now you know what to do. You gotta stop, drop, and roll. Electric plug is dangerous, now don't forget. You never touch a liar or a cigarette. And don't you ever get to near a barbecue. But if you get burned, now you know what to do. You gotta stop, drop, and roll. You gotta stop, drop, and roll. If you ever get burned, now you know what to do. You gotta stop, drop, and roll. And when you hear that 
fire bell ringing a lit help is on the way the firefighters on their way to save the day but you'll be much better if you know that you've got to stop drop and roll you've got to stop drop and roll stop drop and roll stop drop and roll Uh, hi, Daisy. Hi, Doc. We just got back from the fire station. You should have seen all the equipment. Well, that sounds like fun. Uh, you know, Daisy, I get these strange dreams. Strange dreams? Yeah, I dreamt that I was eating marshmallows. All night long, I was eating marshmallows. Marshmallows? Well, that doesn't sound so bad. Oh, uh, yeah, but when I woke up, half my pillow was gone. <laughs> oh, Doc! Oh, hi, Daisy. Hi, Doc. We had a great time at the fire station today. It was so much fun. We got to ride on a fire truck. Well, I wish I could have gone. Oh, we'll go back, Doc. And you can come with us next time. Uh, great. We learned about protecting ourselves against getting burned. And we learned what to do in an emergency. What's that? Dial 911. If there's a fire in your home, go to your neighbor's telephone and dial 911. In an emergency that's as serious as can be, dial 911. And when you call when in distress, give them your name and your address. Dial 911. If there's no urgency at all, you should never ever call. 911 Firefighters and police will hurry to the scene if you dial 911 911 But if it's a false alarm it can do a lot of harm to dial 911 911 And when you call when in distress, give them your name and your address. Dial 911. 911. No matter where you go, there are three numbers you should know. 911. It's time to play the Make a Healthy Choice game. I'm going to show you three liquids. You have to decide which one is healthier. Today, we have a powdered orange drink, a glass of water, and some fruit punch. Which one is healthier? If you chose the water, you're correct. The water has no calories and no sugar. The powdered orange drink has 92 calories and just about four and a half teaspoons of sugar. The fruit punch has 103 calories and five and a half teaspoons of sugar. So the healthy choice is the water. Make a healthy choice and you'll always be a winner. Hi, I'm Mike. Hi Mike, I'm Kendra. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you also. What brings you to the magic shop today? I'm interested in a magic trick for my nephew's birthday party. Oh, I think I have just the thing for you. Why don't you come around the counter and I'll show it to you. Okay. This is called the samurai sword. Okay. I'm going to show you the sword that's attached to these pillars. There we go. Take a look at that sword. Make sure it's solid. I think it's, it's solid. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm going to lock it back into place here on this pillars. And I'm going to place this pole back on it. And that prevents this from even moving. Now, I'm going to cover all of this with this cloth. There we are. And can I borrow a ring? Oh, sure, sure. You can borrow this one. <laughs> oh, wow, that's a beautiful ring. All right, I have a cord here, too. Take a look at the cord. Make sure that's also solid. It's solid. All right. Okay. All right, and I'm going to thread that cord onto your ring. Ah. 
And then I'm going to take my hand and I'm going to cover it all and lock it into place. Okay. okay. There we go. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock the ropes around my hand. And here's what we're going to do. I'm going to make your ring disappear from this cord okay. and actually appear attached to the sword. Okay. Watch real carefully. You might actually hear it happen. Ready? Okay. Here it goes. Did you hear that? I did hear that. Look, it's gone. Oh, my goodness. Here. Okay. And take a look. There it is attached wow. to the sword. Let me take that off for you. And there's your ring. Thank you. That's a wonderful trick. Okay, will this work for you? I think it would be perfect. Oh, okay, good. I happen to have one uh, down here. There you are. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Mike. It's a pleasure to meet you Appreciate and enjoy it. the trick. Okay, thank okay, you. Bye. Bye. time at the fire museum today, Daisy. Me too. We worked up an appetite. That's why I'm making you guys a healthy snack. Really? Uh-huh. They're called apple flying saucers. Flying saucers? See? Don't they look like flying saucers? Oh, yes, they do. And they look yummy, too. How do you make them, Daisy? It's really easy. First, you're going to take an apple, and you're going to core the center of it, like that. And then you're going to cut it into slices. I've already done that here. See? Then you're gonna take a teaspoon of peanut butter and you're gonna spread that onto the apple, right on top. Then you're gonna take another piece and you're gonna put that on top too. Then you're gonna add a grape to the center. Daniel, can you do that for me? And there we have an apple flying saucer. They only have 53 calories. They have vitamin C, vitamin E, fiber, and protein. Thanks, Daisy. Now we're ready to go again. <laughs> now it's time to exercise, you should do it every day. Exercise is healthy and gets your body into shape. Start by stretching your arms and legs to warm your muscles up. You bend down slowly, you touch your toes and then you get back up. Now jump, jump! Clap your hands in the top. Jumping Jack is your friend. And the run! run! It's too fun to stop. Like you're racing the wind. Jump! Jump! Run! run! Jump! Jump! Hey, Salty. Ahoy there, matey. So, what brings you aboard my ship today? Well, you know, today we're learning about fire safety and how mm. to stop, drop, and roll in an emergency. <laughs> so I wondered, Salty, do you ever have fires or emergencies on ship? Oh, I remember a time when I wish I could have called 911 aboard my ship. Really? It, it was a dark and stormy night. I just set me first mate, Bob Four Apples, up to the crow's nest as I look out. Bob Four Apples? What? That's his name. Yeah, okay, sorry. Well, uh, anyway, suddenly a lightning bolt knocked Bob off the mast and into the raging sea. What did you do? Well, fortunately, I remembered me life-saving tips taught to me by me grandmum, Saltine. Saltine? Well, I'm named after her. Oh, yeah, okay. So I threw Bob four apples, a life preserver, and saved him. Wow. Do you ever practice fire safety on the shit, Saltine? Yay, bet your barnacles, why? Oh, a ship is just like a floating house. Oh, I remember once when we had a 
Grease fire in the galley. Galley. Uh, that's a galley. A galley is a kitchen on board the ship. Uh, Frank Furter, our cook, had uh, prepared a feast. Frank Furter? What? Uh, Again? Uh, uh, nothing, Salty, sorry. Well, anyhow, Frank had put together this delightful meal. It was uh, pickled plankton and peppered perch. Oh, it was gold! <sighs> when suddenly, the grill was aflame! Wow, did you panic? Panic! Well, no, of course not. I just swooped down from the mast and grabbed a fire extinguisher, specially made for grease fires, and, oh, I sprayed the grill and extinguished the fire. Well, Lee, <laughs> well, I'm sure that food was ruined. Ruined? Why, that was the best smoked fish I ever Tasted. Oh, salty. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Joey, you had a busy day. I'll say it was fun. Yes, well, what are you gonna put in your journal today? Well, today, I learned all about fire safety and how to stop trout and roll if fire gets on me. That's very important, you know. Fire causes injury and kills a lot of people every year. Yeah, and I also learned to dial 911 for help, but only in a true emergency. Right, and I also learned how to keep milk from turning sour. Milk from turning sour? How do you keep milk from turning sour? Leave it in the cow. I, oh, Joey, say goodbye. Hi, everyone. Thank you for being my friend. And remember, boys and girls, the real magic is in you. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Leave it in the cow. Oh, hi, kids. Hi, hi. Lighting. I can wrap it. Go, go, go. 604, 13, take one. Freeze. <laughs> salty. <laughs> Ahoy, mateys. Uh, the great fireman Salty has decided to join on your excursion. Great fireman? Well, of course, I put on fire. Abracadabra is a production of the West Virginia School of Osteopathic Medicine and its Healthy Children's Initiative in association with Concord University. At Concord, it starts with you. Additional funding for this program is provided by the Brick Street Foundation, Charleston Area Medical Center, the Davis Eye Center, the Jean G. Hamilton and Lawson W. Hamilton Jr. Family Foundation, and by Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield, West Virginia.